Hey guys, I'm here, and this is the Galaxy S8. Hey guys, I'm here, and the Android community seriously amazes me sometimes. I mean, it's been what? Five days since the event, and two since I uploaded the video about the Galaxy S8, and there are already so many things you can do to make your phone look like the Galaxy S8. And no, I'm not talking about the cheap wannabe launchers or just downloading some wallpaper, I mean actually make it look like it. And today I'm gonna try and show you how to do it. Let's take a closer look. First of all, your Galaxy S7, or S6 for that matter, need to be rooted in order to be able to move delete or otherwise edit system files. My phone is rooted and I'm using Superman ROM by a developer named Luca on the XDA forum and I'm gonna drop his thread down below so you can go check it out. What Superman ROM is, is basically the stock Samsung UI that is user interface but with a bunch of tweaks that lets you customize a lot of things. I'm not gonna cover everything today because it's not relevant to this guide and it's gonna take so much time. But let me know with a like and a comment down below if you'd like me to do that. One helpful tweak that Luca has implemented is the S8 style navigation bar. This helps us get closer to the look of the Galaxy S8. Another one that's more fun than useful is he lets you customize the colors of the quick settings and you might be wondering why I decided to mention this. The reason is because the status bar and the quick settings so above all launchers, no matter which one you have. And if you can hide it, next I have to mention that I'm in a bunch of Telegram groups. One of them is dedicated to the Galaxy S8, appropriately named S8 Stuff. In there I found a bunch of things, S8 Launcher, S8 widget, S8 icons, S8 wallpapers, and I'm gonna drop a link to that group down in the description. And the description's gonna be crowded. Also in there is an XDA post that has all of those in one place. And I'm gonna drop a link to that as well down in the description. So you can go and download all the things. But there are some complications. First of all, not all the packages will work for everyone. Like it says on the site, these have been tested only in touch with Nougat. So, if you're a Marshmallow user, you might be lucky and they might work for you, they might not. I believe the ones in red are the ones that only work with Nougat and the black ones are the ones that work with both. Step 1. After you've downloaded all the things you need, and most importantly, the S8 TouchWiz, you can go ahead and take a good look at your home screen. You might want to take some screenshots so you remember how it looks because this process might erase all the icons from your home screen. Step 2. If you downloaded the flashable zip Bixby file instead of the APK version, you can go ahead and flash that through your recovery and hopefully it will be done that easily because this does the exact thing that we're gonna do the long way. If you downloaded the TouchWiz APK, you can try and install it like you would normally do. Find where it's downloaded, click and install it. If you get an error, go ahead and keep watching. If you did not get an error, congratulations. Let me know with a comment down below how lucky you are. Now those complications. When you're installing TouchWiz, Samsung's launcher, that package may conflict with another package, which is the one that's already installed. If that's the case and you're not able to install TouchWiz, you need to go through the process that I'm going to explain now. Step 2 as well. If you are unlucky and this process did not work for you, go ahead and find where the file was downloaded and let's go ahead with the process. Copy that file and navigate to the root directory. This is the mother of all files, literally. From there, you have to navigate to system, priv app, touchwiz2016 underscore c. Don't worry if that was too fast, I will put the title here and I will put it down in the description so you can go check it out. There you need to paste the file 
and pay close attention to what I'll say next. Rename the old file to old blah 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 and the new file exactly like the old one used to be. Then take the old file and move it to somewhere you can find it again if you need to or just delete it. This step replaces the old TouchWiz with the new TouchWiz. Then you can go ahead and reboot. Then if you want Bixby but you did not download the flashable zip, you can go ahead and take the APK and navigate to system prevap and create a new folder called hello underscore Bixby. In there you just paste the APK and you can go ahead and restart once more. Theoretically now you should be in the Galaxy S8 TouchWiz and if you swipe right you will see Bixby on your home screen. Honestly it's not really useful right now. There's not much it can do other than showing cards but it gives a more complete look to your new Galaxy S8 and it's not bothering anyone it's just there anyway guys thank you so much for watching if the video helped you or if you enjoyed it leave a like and or a comment it really helps me and make sure you're following me on twitter for sneak peeks and otherwise pics of the new projects that are coming along also make sure to subscribe for more colorful content and i'll see you in the next one